Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misa and I do makeup uploads Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I really like to focus on dry skin, complexion. Any of that interests you, please subscribe. Today we are doing a full on review and wear test on the Hourglass Concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. It is a little expensive, so it's $34. Comes in, what, 22 different shades? So it comes with a really good amount of shades. It's full coverage, weightless, waterproof. It has microspherical powders that blur and brighten for up to 16 hours. If you wanna see if this really works, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, let's just start with my foundation routine. If you're only interested in the concealer application, I will have a timestamp marked below. But let's just go in. I want something really hydrating. We have a few fun things lined up today. We have a house meeting, which I think we're picking out windows today. We'll see. I, I don't know. And then um, we're going to dinner at a really good Mexican restaurant later tonight. So. I'm praying that my makeup lasts for you know several hours and this concealer does say it's supposed to last quite a bit of time, but I'm excited to finally put it to the test. And I went in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Packaging is beautiful. It's really great if you have dry skin and if you really need something to nourish, hydrate, lightweight. Oh man, you know, wait, am I going in the right order? I need to put SPF on. This is the Kiehl's um, Broad Spectrum Super Fluid Daily UV. I try to wear sunscreen every single day, but my skin is really sensitive to any majority of sunscreens, but Kiehl's is the one that has worked for me the best. My skin lately, I've been breaking out like crazy. I think I need to start looking into getting a hydrofacial, maybe a chemical peel, something that's going to kind of give my skin a fresh start because I used to never have a lot of, you know, just like acne problems and now it's starting to become more and more a thing for me. It's been a while since I've used this. This is the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm just going to be using this Morphe E34 brush. ColourPop is actually releasing a new foundation. It's on Ulta's website right now. I need to order it pronto. This one I really like. I have a full review on it if you are interested in seeing it. It's just really lightweight, really natural looking, and I think the one that they have coming out is definitely more coverage, but it's supposed to be really high Draining and has the hyaluronic acid in it. I don't know if I'm going to regret this. I'm so used to going in with more full coverage foundation that's very bronze. All right, so my foundation is on. Like I said, very lightweight. It does apply best with a brush, a more dense brush than the one I'm using. Right now I'm using this, it's a powder brush, but I'm out of clean foundation brushes and I need to get on it and clean everything. I purchased this concealer during the Sephora sale about a month ago and I got too light of a shade so I just recently went back and got my correct shade and just this is in the shade Beach. I have a medium to tan skin tone with a neutral undertone. This might be a little too dark for my like the foundation I'm wearing right now but we'll see. I love the applicator of this. It's like an arrow and it's very like soft like a feather. Oh yeah look how dark that is. It's not that dark though. It's just not what I'm used to, but I've been trying to be a little bit more not so aggressive with super highlighted, really light look. I'm trying to have more of a, you know, brightens, conceals. So this is what's looking like right now on the skin. It definitely feels more of a gel-like formula. I love Hourglass and so I'm hoping now that I'm really taking my time to look into this concealer and test it out that it will perform how I like it. I do feel like right now it's sitting on top of the skin a little bit and I can, it's emphasizing like texture underneath my eye. With it being full coverage, I would say kind of, I would say this is a medium to full coverage. I definitely think you can build it up. I do feel like there is a little bit of dark circles peeking through, but nothing that I would complain about. Um, weightless, I would definitely agree with that. It's, it seems like a gel-like formula that it's really interesting to kind of blend out because it's not like anything that I have. And then it says that it blurs and brightens. Uh, I don't know if it, would bl it blurs, I don't know. It does seem to be attaching to texture underneath my eye that I usually don't notice. 
and it is creasing a little bit and I think I need to set it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. May as well keep it in the Hourglass family. I'm just gonna take a small tapered pointer brush and go from there. Let's see how this... So that's what it looks like. I think it looks good. I mean, from far away, I think it looks really flattering. And then up close, you can just see more texture, but I am interested to see how it's going to wear throughout the day. I'm going to hop off camera really fast, do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll let you know how it looks. Here is the finished look. One of my signature looks. I'll go over really quick what I use. So just everything, like I said, I use my Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. And then for bronzer, I went in with my Hourglass Bronzer. This is in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. It's just a very natural, lit from within bronzer. And then blush, I went in with my Patrick Ta. She's sincere. Takes a little bit to build this up, but it is very beautiful, very natural looking. And I put that in my crease as well. And then for my highlight, just a really easy, natural highlight. I use this Hourglass Omnient Lighting Ghost Palette, which I do have a review on this. And this is a strobe light, which is, um, this is called iridescent or something. It's their highlight, but they're not chunky. It's just really finely milled. I have, you know, like I said, I have a big love relationship with Hourglass. And so I'm hoping that this concealer lives up to the test and it's something that I can really have in my collection for a while. And then to set everything, I use my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I love this. It is, it seems so liquidy that it would just kind of melt away your makeup, but it doesn't. It just lets in all those natural, like, it's just very refreshing and it just really brings back some moisture to your skin. So I highly recommend this. And then my brows and mascara um, and lip color, I'll just have a link down below. This is where we're at with the concealer. I feel like it still is emphasizing a little bit of texture. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really know if I've noticed that with any of my other concealers, but we are starting the wear test. It is, it's about noon. I know I'm getting a really late start to the day, but I think I'll be able to get, keep this on for, you know, seven hours and we'll see exactly how it works. So I'll keep you guys updated. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I breathe. This used to be my mirror, now it's my kid's mirror, hence the fingerprints. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a, it's a strong current. Um, <laughs> I am obsessed with just simple graphic tees. I got this from H&M a few weeks ago, and then these are American Eagle leggings, not leggings, skinny jeans. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Oh, and I got these really adorable. These are like Steve Madden. They're like Valentino lookalikes, and that's like what drew me into them. And they're an amazing pricing. They're like $80, and they're true to size. So if you wanted to check those out, I'll have them linked down below as well. Hello, I am back for the final check-in. I never really did a middle check-in. We were at a house meeting and went to dinner. It was delicious, but it took a lot longer than expected. Um, so right now it's 8 p.m. So the concealer has been on for eight hours and this is what it is looking like. I turned down my lights really well, but oh, it's kind of sad, right? Hourglass, one of my favorite brands ever. From eight hours of wear, you can see that there's creasing, quite significant creasing, actually. The emphasizing of my pores is quite, you know, obvious, as well as on this side. Now I did set this with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I've been on the fence about this concealer for a little bit here because my first initial thoughts, I was unsure. I just knew I really liked the gel-like consistency and the application, but I'd say the finish, while it claims it's full coverage, eh, I wouldn't say it's quite full coverage, but the longevity of it just isn't quite there. Like, I feel like my forehead held up really well, but just my, like, smile lines right here, like when I smile like this, like that has definitely creased. And like I said, it just really emphasizes texture right here. Um, I will just continue to use this product, but for $34 and just what I kind of expect out of a concealer, I wouldn't buy this again. I'm definitely not giving up on it, but it's definitely not one of those concealers I am blown away with. One that if you are just looking, like $34 is a lot of money for a concealer. So for this one, I would have to say to skip out unless you are a huge Hourglass fan and want to try it out. So let me know, like I said, I have dry skin. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried this concealer before and what you think. 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!